Jane Rowe's story was a terrible one. She said she had been gang raped, gotten pregnant, was desperate to get an abortion. That's what everyone believed, as long as Jane Rowe remained anonymous. When she went public, she told a different story. You were raped while you were in Georgia? No, I wasn't. You were not? No, I wasn't. Oh, so all those stories that are in the books and so forth are not true? Yes, sir. Yes. They're not true. Right. And it turned out that lying wasn't the only embarrassment this darling of the pro-choice forces presented. In her personal treatise published last year, Norma McCorvey told the story of her somewhat sordid life. Then she still adamantly supported abortion. Now she adds that to the list of sins she took with her into the baptismal pool. I've cheated people out of money. I've sold drugs. I... You know, I, I, used, I, was, I was an abusive alcoholic for, you know, many, many years. Um, I've done a lot against his teachings. Um, but I, I think the far greater sin that I did was to be the plaintiff in Roe v. Wade.